Good morning. Uh, this morning I'm going to be changing an air filter in my 2014 Chevrolet Impala LTZ V6 VVT direct injection uh, engine. Now the air filter that I've chose is this K&N filter. Now the reason why I chose K&N is because it's a reusable filter. It's a cotton filter. If it gets dirty, you can clean it, re-oil it, reuse it. Uh, it's good for over 100,000 miles. So it does cost a little bit more than a normal air filter, but I've used K&M before in previous vehicles and I do like the ability to clean them and then reuse them uh, without having to go buy a new filter. Um, plus I'm not really throwing anything away, uh, like you know the old paper filter that you're supposed to change every other oil change or so. But um, so that's the reason why I chose the K&N. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive than a normal filter, but like I said, it has benefits of you know being able to be reused, re-oiled. They also say that it increases horsepower. I'm not sure about that. You can do your own research. Uh, there's people that say yes and others that say no. So uh, either way, I like the uh, the reusable part. So let's get down to it, take a look, and see what we're up against here. So I've got about 92,000 miles on the car right now, and yes. I did clean a little bit under the engine uh, because I knew I was going to be making this video and I didn't want you to see it all dusty and nasty. But uh, okay, so this over here on the passenger side is the air box. You can see I've got Phillips head screws. There's two here, there's two on this side, there's two right here, and there's one. Yeah, it looks like just one on the back back here. So, I'm going to be taking those Phillips screws out. I'm going to loosen this band clamp right back here because I'm on an Impala forum and I have heard that uh, this duct tends to crack sometimes and I'm not really trying to put it under a lot of pressure because i got to lift this thing up out of the way to get the old filter out and to get the new filter in. So, I'm going to be taking those loose and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start that. I'll just show you what that looks like when I get it off. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the clamp loose. Now, I did turn it. Um, it actually latches into these little rubber nodules, um, but I turned the clamp to get it loosened up. And of course, all I needed for that was a uh, straight slot screwdriver. So, and now we're going to go ahead and see if we can get the box to open up and lift off. Okay, so, as you can see, I've got the old filter out, and it don't look too terribly bad. Um, now, I bought the car used in February of this year, it's now July. Uh, it had 73,000 miles on it. I was not sure if this air filter had ever been changed or not. Um, I assume, judging by looking at this filter, that, that the dealership probably put a, a filter in it um, when they did their inspection on the, on the vehicle. But anyway, um, just not knowing the history on it and everything, now I know exactly when the new filter has been put in. Now there's a little bit of dust and dirt and whatnot in there and I'm going to bring a vacuum out and uh, vacuum that out real quick before I put it all back together. But you can see how the box, how the lid just comes off um, and I pulled it loose from the hose. I did not disconnect. That's a mass flow air sensor which uh, you see right inside. I did not disconnect that because um, there was really no need to do it. Uh, now, if I run into any issues or problems when I put it all back together, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be the mass airflow sensor that's going to be the issue. Um, hopefully that's not the case and this should be fairly simple. Open it up, clean everything up, put the new filter in, drop it all back together and uh, voila. So this should take no more than... I would say even for the unexperienced person, no more than 15 minutes. Okay, so another thing um, comes with the box. Uh, you got 
Some information about the filter. Congratulations, can in 10 year million mile limited warranty. And real important is you get this sticker. So make sure that you put this sticker on the outside of the air box when everything's put back together so that anybody who possibly might service the vehicle knows that you've got a reusable air filter in it. Okay, so the job's all done. As you can see, I've got the k and decals on the air box, the clamps back together, all the bolts are tight, and that took about 10 minutes. So, start the car up, make sure that everything's working right. Okay, so there you have it. Air filter change, car's running, no lights on the dashboard, everything's working well. So. Pretty much anybody can do air filter on these vehicles, um, it's not rocket science, so hopefully this video helps some of you, um, show you how easy it is, 